Good morning, parents. This is Mr. Hinkle, principal of Richland Collegiate High School. Uh, I wanted to take a minute to show you a little bit about the Avid Binder and what your students would have been doing or should have done up to this point in the semester to give you an idea of how to go check. So I'm going to turn the camera around here and show you a binder. This binder is from a previous student. He's now a graduate uh, at American University. He's doing great. Um, wanted to show you the outside of this first. You're going to see the schedule. Your students should have a schedule and the colored areas are actual scheduled classes. The white areas are the areas that they have a, I'm going to put it in air quotes, a break in their schedule. That break means that they are managing their own time using college resources. It's kind of hard to see through this, but you can see we've got lunch, we've got history, we've got uh, library, we've got quite a few other things listed here. We've got rooms and times that we're studying different things. The idea is that the kids are using their entire time from 8 to 5 to not only take classes, but to self-manage and self-regulate their extra time to how, how they should study, what they should study, where they should be studying. Um, and all of that is included in this binder. So I want you to look at the binder for a second. You'll notice the depth of the binder, the thickness of it. This is their historical record of their experience in their first semester of college. They're managing a lot of classes. I want to show you what we show them how to do with the binder so that you can also check to see what they're doing. So the syllabus is the first section that we're going to see. It's pretty simple. First thing you see is, is what the class is about. Um, if we flip through the binder, you can see other syllabi. Here's one for physics. We go through and basically it walks you through what's going to happen in the class. You can see the calendar. You can see the dates that we are, we're looking at for when things are due and the readings. Another thing you want to look at to make sure the kids have is something called the GPS. The GPS is basically all the possible points for every assignment, the points earned, and then kind of like an old school checkbook, what their current average is based on that. Um, every section of the binder should have one of these things called a GPS, grade point sheet. Um, make sure your students have their grade point sheets. Uh, the other thing we want to take a look at in here is what we do with them in AVID. It's called a TRF. You can see up here at the top that the TRF stands for Tutorial Request Form. So the TRF has got basically a problem, a point of confusion, something that they're working on. And then it works through how to solve that problem, and it basically guides them through the tutorial process. Another important section for the TRF is this piece here. It's the reflection. My point of confusion was what I learned about my point of confusion. I gained new insight or greater understanding. This is important because we're walking them through how to tutor themselves. Every section of their binder, um, every class that they have, should have tutorial request forms in them, completed, filled out, in great detail. Horno Notes is probably the biggest thing that we're going to look at in this binder. It is important because this is the history of what the students are doing. They're taking notes, they're anna <coughs> excuse me, annotating texts, they are asking questions in the left hand corner, they're giving essential questions up at the top, they're recording the dates, they're you can see all of these notes are actually stapled together because they were part of a larger thematic unit that he made sure that were all organized so that he could study them later. Um, one other thing I want to show you here is the collection sorry, of work that we've got. In this case, we've got an English class. Not only do we have Cornell notes and everything else, but we've collected our work where the professors provided comments so that we could go back, we could study, we could redo. Again, this is all a collection of everything that they've done everything that is important in that class. The, the notes are really one of the most important pieces. It's the collection of, every, of everything that they've done in their classes. There should be a lot of them for every class, no matter what. Write down everything the professor says. Go to your textbooks and annotate them. Take notes over notes. Uh, this is where the students really begin to learn and expand on what they've already learned in regular high school. What we're trying to do is take what they've done before and really ramp it up and 
make them, uh, give them skill sets necessary to be successful as juniors at a university, not just a skill set that's successful at a regular high school. So let's recap real quick. Here we go. For a binder check, the schedule should be filled out on front with classes, study times, locations, etc. Syllabi in every section should be the first thing they see. Grade point sheets, the GPS for each course, filled out with grades. Uh, you should see quite a few tutorial request forms. They do this on a weekly basis in AVID. Um, we've got Cornell notes, okay, completed, like I said, at least two pages a day for every class is just a minimum amount. Um, there could be quite a few more as you've seen in the examples that I've shown you. Um, no spirals, no outside folders, everything goes in this binder. It's a collection point not only for us parents at RCHS, but also for you to be able to go and see what they're doing. This is all about show and tell. Have them show you exactly what they're doing. Again, at this point, this binder should be full. It should look like this. If it doesn't look like this, tell your students to start buckling down and make it look like this before their final exams. Thanks. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email.